So today is a video for the ladies. Ladies, I want to say thank you for your messages, emails, DMs. I've heard you and I decided to oblige. You guys have been asking for videos for you ladies and I decided to do it starting with the one I'm doing today because you guys want to know, you know, releases, you want to know seasonal videos, you know, what do I think about new releases for women, some top videos of hidden jams or, you know, great value, big bang for your buck type of videos. So I've been doing it for men for the longest time, but not so much for women, but because you guys have asked, I decided to start doing with the one today, which is going to be five hidden gem fragrances that every woman should check out if they like to the smell amazing. So if you guys want to check out the picks, stick around, they're coming up next. Welcome to another video, Max Forte. Today, as you saw from the introduction, it's a video for women and it's about five hidden gem fragrances that I think every woman should check out if they haven't heard or checked these out yet. They definitely should while they can. Uh, the reason why I picked this one to start off the, you know, the segue, if you will, into the women fragrance uh, reviews here on the channel is because it's one of the most highly requested ones along with seasonal ones. So expect to see more fragrances geared toward women from here on out on this channel. And this is also good for you guys, for you gentlemen, if you want to give yourself, uh, you know, some credit here with, the, with, with your lady, you want to give them a nice present, a nice gift, these fragrances will make amazing gifts, guys, trust me. By the way, this is not a countdown, this is going to be five great fragrances, I'm just going to mention them in different orders, but it is in no particular order, these are great fragrances on their own, again, not a countdown, just five great hidden gems that you should check out. Kicking things off with this fragrance here called Moss from Commodity Fragrances. Now this particular fragrance was quote unquote discontinued. The fragrance uh, had filed for bankruptcy about a year ago, but they have found some investors and the fragrances back online. You can actually find these fragrances again and again. I'm going to have links for all these fragrances and the best prices that I found them at. Um, this is not a sponsored video. Again, I'm just bringing these to you guys because I think these are fantastic fragrances on their own and something that you should definitely check out if you're a lady out there. Now, Commodity Moss is quote unquote an androgynous fragrance as the company is, but this one here, I like it for ladies because it has a lot of floral components in the heart. This is considered citrus aromatic floral. You have neroli, you have a little bit of a jasmine here. It reminds me of Mugler Cologne or original Vativer from Creed meets Bergamot 22 from La Bo. So as you can see, a lot of quality, great fragrances into this. But it again has that women, that, you know, that feminine touch to the fragrance with the florals that really come to fruition here in the, in the, mid of, the middle of the fragrance that to dry down. The beginning is going to be very citrus, very aromatic, but from the heart into the base, you get a lot of florals that play a key role and really nice uh, about this fragrance. I like to wear this, but I actually particularly love this on my wife. Moss is a very happy, bright, refreshing, fizzy, sparkly type of a scent with those citrus that I talked about, bergamot, uh, lemons. Um, I think there's Sicilian Mandarin in here. So there's a lot of citruses up front, but as we all know, citruses are ethereal notes that quickly dissipate, but you do have that citrus that rides the fragrance, especially the bergamot here, hence the, the, the similarity with bergamot 22. As you get into the heart, you have orange blossom, jasmine, you have more of the floral bedding that really comes to the forefront, bringing this floral uh, nuance and vibe to the fragrance from this point on into the dry down. As you get into the base, guys, you have this really nice sensual white musk that adds the sensuality taste uh, to the fragrance with a hint of amber just to make things a little bit sweet and a little bit warm. So as I said to you guys, Commodity is back. They were a bargain bin type of a fragrance found at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or your local discounter. Now they are back in the game, guys. Again, I'm going to have the link below where you can find if you guys are looking for this particular fragrance. You can find it in the link below, guys. Great scent. Again, citrus, sparky, aromatic very floral, not very floral, but you know, citrus floral aromatic scent that I think women will love, especially if you like this particular genre or character. Now, speaking of hidden gems, this particular one, perhaps one of the most hidden gem fragrances for women in the history of fragrances for women. All joking inside, this particular fragrance, guys, Amethyst from Lalique is a fragrance that, no kidding, every single time I wear, and by the way, atomic performance. This is a fragrance that you don't need more than one or two sprays you are going to be nuclear. You're going to walk into a room, people are going to smell you. Do not, I repeat, do not overspray on this one because it's going to be there the whole day and then some, and it's going to be overwhelming. I'm just telling you. Now, funny thing is this is a floral aromatic scent or fruity floral scent, more of a fruity floral. But what I was saying before is every single time my wife wears this fragrance, she gets compliments. Not only compliments, but she also gets the following questions. 
you smell amazing, what are you wearing? I wanna get a bottle. And this is no joke. Every single time my wife wears this, we end up giving this to somebody as a gift in the following Christmas or whatever because it has that effect on people, on women especially. It's a fantastic fruity floral scent. It opens up with these incredible red berries. You have raspberries, blackberries, blackcurrant, strawberries. So it's a very fruity scent in the beginning. It also has this really nice floral vetiver uh, in the base, which is very rare in women's fragrance. I haven't seen a fragrance for women. And as we know, Lalique is very famous for Encre Noir, which is a collection that mainly focuses on that inky vetiver vibe. This vetiver here is not gonna be the same vetiver that you get with Encre Noir. This is going to be a more aromatic, more fruity, and slash floral vetiver that you get here, which is actually very appealing. I've actually wore this fragrance myself, but I absolutely love this fragrance on my wife. The nose behind Lalique's Amethyst is Natalie Larson, which is a great nose, and she nailed in this fragrance, guys. I'm telling you, when it comes to hidden jams, under the radar, Amethyst, and the price, guys, this stuff here is really, really affordable. Again, I have the links to all these fragrances below if you guys wanna check it out. And all you women out there, if you wanna smell amazing, if you wanna smell sophisticated, if you wanna have your presence felt as you walk into a room, Amethyst will definitely do that. It's very compliment inducing. It has something about it, it's just captivating. A little bit of a smoky facet from that vetiver, but it's mostly, like I said, a floral fruity fragrance all around. The floral heart that you get here is going to be comprised by rose, peony, and ylang ylang. So again, very floral in the mid, but along with that vetiver in the base that's very fruity and floral, you also get a bourbon vanilla accord, which adds this almost smoky, boozy facet that's a little bit sweet as well. That's when the fragrance really shines, and I think that's typically the time where women will say, hey, what are you wearing? You smell amazing. Again, that trifecta of those red berries with that slight smoky vetiver and that vanilla bourbon, just outstanding fragrance right here, ladies. All right, the next one here is a fragrance from a brand, which is a makeup brand. Uh, in 2016, they released this fragrance line. It's the company's MAC, which is a makeup brand very well known by the ladies out there. And unfortunately, it's a collection that didn't get much talks. In fact, I think they're ready to discontinue this, this brand. Some of the actual fragrances of this collection have actually been axed. I think Heron was one of the ones that was actually axed. And this is very, getting harder to find. So I would say if you, if you like what you hear here, definitely procure a bottle sooner than later before they all all go on. And the fragrance I'm talking about is Velvet Teddy from MAC. What a great fragrance. Warm, cozy, sensual. This stuff here is tobacco leaf, it's cinnamon, it's spices, it's honey, it has a floral element to it, but that honey is very wild, and, and, and it's just that, it's a wild fragrance. It's gonna drive people wild how good this stuff smells. It's cozy, it's inviting, it's sensual, great for evening wear, uh, great when you really wanna turn heads, uh, for the ladies that feel, you know, they want to feel powerful walking into a room and, and just get people turning their heads. Like, what are you wearing? She smells amazing. This is one of those fragrances that will have that effect on you, period. My wife wears this stuff, and every time she wears this, I just want to eat her up. So definitely consider checking this out. MAC from Velvet, you know, Velvet Taddy from MAC. A great scent, and I think now you can find it at Macy's. Again, I'll have the links to all these fragrances below. The price, I think, is like 57 under 60 bucks, and this would be well worth 90 plus. I, I, I would pay 80, 90 bucks for this fragrance. It reminds me of Tom Ford's uh, Tobacco Vanille, but it's a little different. It's a little bit more floral than that particular fragrance. I think you're gonna love the way you smell if you try this one. It's gonna be one of those fragrances that's just, like I said, head-turning sensuality in the bottle. So the warmness of the fragrance in the heart, you know, besides the, you know, the vanilla that I talked about, besides the, the sweet and spicy facets with the cinnamon, the wild honey, you also have dark musks in the base along with papyrus and a little bit of a sweet tonka that really enhances that, that sensuality that I talked about. It's very warm, it's very seductive fragrance. True potion number nine, if you will, of the fragrance world, guys. Check this out. If you like this genre, you're not gonna disappoint, ladies. Speaking of great value proposition, even better value than this one, but also very warm and very sensual fragrance, I am talking to you guys about Banana Republic's Dark Cherry and Amber. Now, we all know Banana Republic is not, you know, a high-end brand, but I have to tell you that this particular brand uh, put out some really fine quality fragrances in this particular dark uh, fragrance line. The Dark Cherry and Amber, oh my God, it's so good, guys. My wife loves this stuff, and I love when she's wearing this because it's got this almost borderline gourmand facet to the fragrance. The cherries up top are incredible. You have pralines, which has this caramel, you know, heart and dry down facet to the fragrance, which is, which is like I said, almost you know borderline gourmand. 
This is a great cherry fragrance. If this was in fact released by Tom Ford, for example, when we're talking about high-end and, and, and expensive fragrances, we all know Lost Cherry that came out, you know, a couple years ago. If this was actually released as by Tom Ford as Dark Cherry or you know Lost Cherry Noir, you guys would want to pay two to three hundred bucks with a smile on your face. So let me tell you, this stuff here for a big fraction of the cost will get you smelling just as good, if not better, ladies and gentlemen. If you like cherry type scents that are ambery, warm, cozy, inviting, with that beautiful praline cream, almost gourmand, if you like sweet, ambery scents, this is a must. Dark Cherry and Amber opens up with that gorgeous, you know, dark cherry accord along with freesia flower. So it's gotta be a little, it's gonna have a little bit of a floral undertone, but the amber really comes to the forefront given warmth and seductiveness and sensuality to the scent along with that praline's caramel slash accord that will ride the scent from the heart into the dry down, which really warm things up and make this almost a gourmand fragrance. Dark cherry amber is deep, it's warm, and it's definitely sensual. Definitely a fragrance to consider checking out. And I think this sells for like 29 bucks, ladies. Again, every one of these fragrances linked below. But I want you ladies to have a good experience, and I think some of these fragrances here will definitely, you know, provide that experience for you guys for a great deal. Last but not least, I have a celebrity fragrance of all things. You know, a lot of celebrity fragrances are gimmicky and not as good. Uh, I could have talked about Ariana Grande's Cloud, which is a great fragrance that you know resembles Baccarat Rouge 540, which perhaps I'll talk to you guys about that fragrance in the future. But I wanted to bring you guys something a little bit more unique that is, again, under the radar, not talked about at all. Released in 2016, Sarah Jessica Parker is the celebrity behind the scent, and it's a fragrance that is definitely an incredible fragrance. And you guys should definitely check out. This is going to be Stash from Sarah Jessica Parker. Love the bottle. Uh, wooden cap, nice little mist on the sprayer here. This is warm, it's really cozy. It's one of those very sophisticated, elegant fragrances. One, again, that when you wear this, if you walk into a room, you are going to turn heads. It smells amazing, incredible, elegant. People are gonna think that you're wearing something that costs, you know, two to three hundred bucks. What this reminds me of, guys, and I use Tom Ford because I love private blend Tom Ford, but I think it's a little bit overpriced at times. This here smells like Santal Blush from Tom Ford. So if you like sandalwood, warm sandalwood, this has spices to it. It has a gorgeous note of cinnamon. The creamy sandalwood at the bottom is going to be warm and inviting. You can wear this all year round, but I think it's better for, you know, maybe spring and fall, but it is on the warmer side of things. So if you like to wear stronger fragrances that are more aggressive and attention grabbing, you could definitely pull this off all year round you know, providing you control the sprayer. So Stash is going to be a woody, spicy fragrance, and it opens up with grapefruit and black pepper. So you have the citrus component along with the spiciness of the black pepper that's gonna be very spicy in your face. The mid of the fragrance is really the highlight for me because it's very exotic. You have a pistachio note along with ginger, cedar, and that patchouli that adds really character to the scent and the sandalwood that really comes to the forefront, adding this creaminess and warmth to the composition. For here is the killer factor of this fragrance. When you get into the base, you have a combination of vetiver, frankincense, and musk. Now the frankincense is going to be, a, a, as we all know, frankincense has this, you know, fruity, incense vibe to it, which is very captivating. That's gonna be present here. The vetiver here is a little bit subdued. It's in the background, it's not up front and center. So you get a little bit of an earthiness touch, but again, it's never too smoky, but that frankincense will add a little bit of a smokiness to the composition, a little bit of a smoky nuance. This is not gonna be for everyone, but it's definitely unique enough and, and, and just elegant, sophisticated enough that warrants you guys to check out. And you can find this for quite a good price out there. This to me is like niche uh, composition. This, again, could have been released by a high-end niche company and could charge, you know, two to three hundred bucks. I think most people would pick this up and love it, but because it's a celebrity fragrance, most people tend to overlook it, and this is one that's really flying under the radar. Might have been discontinued, and I'm 100% sure, but you can still find this out there, guys, and I urge you, if you like what you hear, definitely try to get any of these fragrances before it's too late. What this fragrance minds, reminds me of the dry down, it's like a combination between Santal Blush from Tom Ford Private Blend, along with Hermacenses, you know, the Hermas collection, uh, Santal Mansoya, which has that sandalwood that's prominent, it's spicy, it's creamy, it's extremely sophisticated and elegant. So ladies, if you're looking for something special to enhance your wardrobe and give you guys some versatility in, in different ranges, 
Any of these fragrances will do the job perfectly. You have something that's citrus fruity and floral here. You have something here that's a little bit smoky, but also with the berries up top. You have something here that's very sensual along with this one. And this is also very sensual and warm. So all these fragrances, if you're looking for something unique, something to convey a very uh, elegant, you know, sophisticated vibe about yourself, I think these fragrances will do that perfectly. So I hope you ladies like the five fragrances that I brought to you today, five under the radar, you know, fragrances that you all should try. But of course, let me know in the comments if you have experienced any of these fragrances. Did you guys like my picks? What other videos you guys would like to see here on the Max Forte channel? Please be sure to sound off in the comments. I will definitely read each and every one of your comments. And of course, let me know if you did enjoy this video. I put a lot of work into this to, to putting together some really cool fragrances that I know you guys would enjoy. So ladies, please. Show them the like if you guys did enjoy the video so I can produce more of these. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit the little bell icon so you get videos like these and future women videos straight into your feed. Ladies, thanks so much for tuning in. And guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If you wanted to find something exclusive and unique for your lady out there, these will definitely do it. So everyone, thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with me today. As always, don't forget to share your support. And remember, fragrance is emotion emotion. So whatever you're wearing, wear what truly moves you. I'll see you guys right back here with a different video real soon. Take care.